talented individual. So I wish he enjoyed the game more and he played like you know, maybe enjoyed more of the top tiers in this game and stayed more in the scene. But you know what? Whenever he does come out, it's a treat. Nintendo World Champion himself, man. <laughs> Mr. Tom Gonda, dude. Yes, he is a very, very smart man. And but I love it. He's a very, very smart man. But when he's playing uh, degenerate characters yeah. in Smash, it's <laughs> always a treat. Dude, I actually play the idols Kero a lot. He's like so good with the uh, neutral V. It's really annoying. Yes. <laughs> he's, I, he's just a really smart player. He, you know, he's a world class chess player. Yeah, he is. Like this dude's an, like an actual genius. <laughs> All right, but but let's talk now about now. Watch him mash. Canada. <laughs> Oh, okay. Team Canada up here? Okay. I, I think he's teaming with another Ken Canadian player. I'm not sure who Mums Cookie is, but I know Logan's one of the, the better. Uh, what? Know, and Indian he's not players. playing Terry? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. What is happening right now? Shambles. I know like, before uh, you know, Terry came out, he was playing a lot of Doc and like, Ridley and stuff. Not so much Ken, I don't think. So like, this isn't like a super random pick, but uh, yeah. Where's the Terry dog? Ido really likes that neutral B. I'm telling you, he is the neutral B master. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, so I know Locust was picking up Doc, um, you know, earlier on in the game. So the fact that we're seeing it in doubles, Doc is a character that, you know, like you were saying before, in this doubles format, there's a lot of characters that aren't the greatest in singles, but you know what? Doc hits very hard, and in doubles, that, that matters it's more. pretty nice. Also, uh, I mean, I don't know how much Mom's Cookie's gonna play that Watch strategy, it oh, but oh he can actually do a good job of uh, covering Doc's core recovery as a PC. And look at Ido, but man. He's, he's just making K. Rool look busted. Obviously, the buffs, the buffs definitely made this character a top tier, <laughs> viable tournament, viable character. Obviously. Yeah, man. That's why K. Rool's gonna break the curse. K oh only yeah. K. Rool. Yeah, K. Rool will break the curse. Yeah. Not Diddy. <laughs> not Banjo. Not Donkey Kong. It's all to K. Roll. I actually wonder after the buffs who's better, K. Roll or Donkey Kong. I mean, Donkey Kong's maybe still better. I don't think very highly of Donkey Kong. Oh that up air is so good. So good. You, you already know it's going to kill a normal character early. He's just super dead to that. Oh, yeah. 100%. So the K. Roll buffs are uh, actually, I thought they were really well done. Um, Nair is a lot better, uh, has way less lag. Uh, the cannon, the neutral B got buffed. And as well as the, uh, what else got buffed? The up air. That one was big, too. Yeah. The so up like, air sweet spot being bigger is so crazy. The move was really strong, but you didn't often get the uh, the sweet spot part of it to kill really early. But now you're pretty much hitting it every time. Yeah. Same thing with the sport air, having a bigger sweet spot, too. I mean, when your up air puts you into free fall, I hope it's good. <laughs> K. Rool, the only character in the game that lags, like, that much after his up air. Uh, I really wanted a main K roll when this game came out. Whoa, man. hold up. I don't know what Lucas is going for there, but he did not mash at all in that cycle. The power of K roll. He's, he's terrifying. Behold. Look at him, dude. <laughs> Behold the power of the K roll. And right now, um, dang, Canada kind of got, kind of got slapped. I, I'm, not, I'm not out here trying to sugarcoat, bro. Yeah, they did. So. I didn't want to say it per, per se, you know, because we all saw the match. No Terry still. Okay, I mean, maybe maybe Wait. Locust just doesn't like Terry and doubles. He went Ridley, and he he was playing. All right, nah, bro. What? Terry's definitely a better pick than Ridley in teams. Actually, okay, in doubles, I think Ridley can get nuts because his hitboxes are so big, and you can kind of, like, get early kills with F-Smash, and F-Smash is also a very large hitbox. But... The thing is, it's the double-edged sword, man. When when Ridley gets hit in doubles, it's yeah, bro. it's a fun time for the team. Yeah, I'm just looking for Nigel to just put this poor Ridley in his clutches and just never let him go. <laughs> honestly, I mean, Lucina definitely a, a character that also has large hitboxes like Ridley, but does not get the uh, I'm humongous con right now. Idol trying to get back on the stage. Oh. Wait, that I forgot how good that episode is. That's like the two-frame machine right there for oh, Ridley. <laughs> okay, Ido finally getting his way back on the stage, but he took a lot of damage, 116%. And this Ridley pick honestly working out oh for my. Team Canada right now. He almost got Ridley up there in the zero suit up B to kill. Ooh, wow, the Cannonball actually interrupting that side B from uh, Ridley. The Space Pirate Rush, one of the coolest names. Uh, That's name actually for a, a really cool name. Yeah, it's the cannon name for the side B. Up tilt. Oh, wow. Tried to go for the up smash, but Locust with the extreme, extremely uh, fast mash out. 
Ido definitely working this side B. Oh, or I mean the neutral B here. And it looks like uh, Mums Cookies going into the zero suit. Yeah, zero suit's definitely though. Looks like he's working out better for him in the Pichu. He's just dying way too early. Oh, oh. man, unfortunate SD maybe, or I, I didn't. Maybe he got Ed guarded there. I don't know if he got all his resources stripped, but Locus not getting back to the stage for sure. Locus likes to play off like the ledge with Ridley. Like he likes to do a lot of regrabs. Because uh, I think you have to respect his up B. Like it's like it's like a hitbox coming up, so you have to shield the ledge. Yeah, yeah. it can it can be really tough to deal with. <laughs> Ido just wants to hit someone Bro, with this he's cannon. He's using the, the <laughs> cannon more than any K roll I've ever seen, and just, he's almost never getting punished for it. Just in case you guys didn't know, you can fall through the platform with the neutral B there. So that's what we see Ido doing. That we call that the uh, the Elite Smash special. It's actually so good. Yeah, yeah, especially because <laughs> in Elite Smash you're usually playing like FD or Battlefield yeah. format, so you usually just set that up by the uh, by the ledge there. Oh, but the back air, wow, catching Ido stretching with that up air, and now four stocks to two. What a turnaround for Yellow Team here. Yeah, the, the Metroid counter pick, is, it's not on theme at all for the saga. Like a prime cycle was months ago. Yeah, yeah, kind of like uh, <laughs> the beginning of the year, but, but it's working out. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. He's still alive, though. The flip kick obviously going to make the way back on stage, and Ido really trying to get this kill. Dash attack still not enough to close out this stock. Yeah, I thought a Zero Suit would All right, there we go. Yeah, I thought Zero Suit would be dying a way earlier than K rule. Oh, man, these, these cannonballs, they, they're just hitting their marks. It actually lasts for a very long time. Like, yeah. That hitbox is actually quite a bit. Look, yeah. it's go it literally goes almost the entire screen. Yeah, I, I won't say Carol has an amazing projectile game, but I will say that the cr crown is definitely very solid for sure. Oh, side B, where are we going? Wait, oh, oh, wow, Locus with the sneaky backer, but he takes out his teammate. Oh, but the up smash out of shield. Really, his up smash is actually one of the better ones in the game, honestly. Right, and it's I believe it's one of the few, if not only, up smashes that like scoop behind him like yeah. that. Like yeah. obviously there's there's other up smashes that scoop both sides, but Ridley, very unique up smash in a sense where it's kind of like Fox up smash, but it starts from the back and then comes to the front yeah. side there. Yeah, that throws a lot of people off from the DI too, but they're just not expecting to get hit right there. Right, right, right. And like, and usually you want to cross up your opponent, right? But Ridley, a character where you, if you don't want to die off the punish out of shield, you don't want to cross him up. Because if you get grabbed, you, you shouldn't die from Ridley, right? So you can you can overextend in front of him, but if you overextend behind him, you, you're, you're done. At kill percent, at least. Yo, so now you just switch into the Fox. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm. Meh. I don't know. I don't know about this one. You don't know about this one, Chief? I, I think it's good against Ridley, but he's going to die earlier. And I feel like everything he wants to do with Fox, he could also do with Lucina, but... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he's just more comfortable fighting uh, these two characters as Fox. Yeah. And Battlefield, definitely a, a classic broken Fox stage. Yeah. So may, um, could have been the stage pick, too, here. And, of course, you already know right here, this, the, the Elite Smash special. In 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 the environment you would be using it in. So I, I don't, we'll go ahead and demonstrate for everyone at home that wants to get on Elite Smash and play K. Rule right here. Boom. And then sink down. See? Look at that. Dude, so it's, good. It's so hard to get past that, honestly. Yeah. If you jump, it, cover, it catches your jump as well. Oh, my God. The he buffed just exploded up air. that up air. And zero suit out of here, too. And I the up air also has the belly armor as well. Now, we didn't even talk about that. K. Rool, um very unique character in a sense where he has armor. <gasps> oh, wait, is Yo, that? He oh, he got the suicide stock. <laughs> that worked. Wow, oh that worked. God. Okay. Yeah, Mom's Cookie did not know what, what was happening there. Yeah, you Ido. Know, Ido was like, yeah, please, just jump into me, man. Just jump into this neutral <laughs> thing. He literally did like the DV classic. Yeah, that was. That was literally like the DV Kirby special. <laughs> like when you first pick up the game. Yep, yep. Trying to edge guard me, and I mean, definitely Kero, a character that can. It, I won't say is. Uh, I don't think he's hard to edge guard, but a lot of people will complain about it. Um, it's it's different. You have to edge guard him different mm -hmm. for sure. Oh wow! And the no, frame trap. Cool. He actually frame trapped with Kero up there. I'm <laughs> very impressed by that. Got the frame and in the forward air, another um, aerial that got buffed from K. Rule. Yeah. Uh, the sweet spot is bigger, I believe. So, uh, yeah, Ido definitely abusing that. Oh the dash attack. Wow. I, I'm pretty sure Ido's gotten all the every kills. single kill. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually wild and 
four oh, stocks no. to one and two v one Ridley versus a fox and a K roll. Like the fox alone is already bad enough. <laughs> and then you got cannonballs <laughs> flying at you, like just in case the fox. Oh, it, oh, <laughs> you can go down multiple platforms. Ido showing and displaying how crazy the neutral V Man, is. The neutral V tech is real. No how platform. Get, how are you getting past this, Locus? How are you actually getting past this? <laughs> no platform can stop me. Not even multiple platforms can stop the neutral B. <laughs> Look at he this. He tried to roll past it. Oh, we almost got hit by the cannonball, too. All right. Will he drop down? Will he not drop down? When will oh he drop down? I don't try to get this down here so bad. I actually like how Locus is playing on stage right now. Oh, there's the Nair. Will he get it? Oh, oh my god. Wow. He was so dead. I thought he was gonna go for the dare there, but he, he even mixed me up. Yeah, that was like the optimal punish on that.